Hello, my name is David Skinner, Executive Vice President with Daniels Health, and I've been here in the US for 20 years working to make healthcare safer. Today I wanted to talk to you about medical waste, some of the history of medical waste, and some of the modern innovations that are available in the marketplace. So let's go back in time to 1986, and yes, it was only 1986 that regulated medical waste was actually regulated uh, in the United States, and the red bag was born. And since then, red bags have proliferated around healthcare facilities in a variety of shapes and sizes, in a variety of shapes and sizes of containers. What we've seen, especially in the last 18 months, is that the issues around container shortages, lack of transport capacity, cost inflations have really put a focus on medical waste and especially the over-segregation of medical waste. So what we as an industry and as Daniels really need to do is to focus on proper education of waste segregation, ensuring that people truly know what regulated medical waste is and what to dispose of in a regulated medical waste container, and therefore ensuring that they're fully compliant, but they're also not over-classifying and over-generating volumes of medical waste. One of the innovations that Daniels has developed to help the industry is a product called MediSmart. It is the first bagless medical waste container. What it does provide is mobility. It provides a smaller container so that you actually can't dispose of non-medical waste items into the container. And that actually has significant reduction of volume, significant reduction of cost, and significant reduction of labor advantages compared to the traditional medical waste containers, which are large garbage bins. So the, the key message that I really want to get across today is Look at your waste segregation policies, look at your education, ensure that people truly know what medical waste is, and look at some innovations that are in the marketplace today because medical waste is probably one of those things in terms of the management of it in your facilities that hasn't changed for the last 20 or 30 years. There are now better ways of looking at it. There are innovative products out in the marketplace. Thank you.